Hi there, and welcome to the Call Cinema. I am Aaron, and tonight we're talking the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale. We're going to look at the new imprint releases, and uh, we're going to look at, I think, Helen Wolf Records might have a new release coming out, so we're going to check on the website for that as well. So there is a lot to check in tonight. So before I do all that, uh, I want to say, hey, thank you for coming to join me here. And uh, right now we're going to get almost directly into this. I got my cousin Raj over here on the side. He's the unseen uh, one. So if I need any kind of like, uh... <laughs> actually, we're going to talk about that, Jay. That's what I think it is too. Literally, just before we came on uh, camera, uh, I looked over at my my cousin Raj because Raj is like, all hey there, Fuzz, welcome, man. He is all knowing when it comes to a lot of the '80s stuff. So I said, I think I know what the VSU was going to be, and I said it's. It's a pretty big one if it is. Because if it is, like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, New York Ninja has been out there. Sensor has been out there. But for me, this is the biggest B VSU. Hey there, Alan. I want to thank uh, Chad for the kind donation there. I did not get to see that until recently, unfortunately. So I did not give a shout out before. So uh, shout out to Chad, man. Hey <laughs> Hey there, Brian. We got Brian here from Just the Disc, and of course, Just the Disc is not just a podcast, but it's a YouTube channel now, which I'm sure you guys are checking out. Did I get a hair trim? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes, I did. I finally did. I got the hair. I got the beard trimmed down. It's not up yet. We're going to be looking at the announcement that they made, uh, like Jay just mentioned. Um, Jay from Delirium Magazine just mentioned there. Uh, the VSU looks, it very, very strongly looks to be Cloak and Dagger. I am super stoked if it is, uh, because, oh my God. Scared Death would be a really nice tile to have too. I remember, is that the one with the uh, the broken like uh, porcelain face type mask on it? Hey there, Holland. Welcome. Holland Notes. I got to say, I love that name. Uh Because if that's the case, and you, Jay's been right on a lot of this stuff, uh, so that will be a really good release. I remember seeing that film, actually. I remember that back in the day. Uh, Cloak and Dagger is a really cool film. I'm not quite sure if I saw it first in the theater or on VHS, uh, but I know I saw it like pretty soon after it, uh, it actually initially came out, and I watched it quite a lot. Was it Henry Thomas in that one? Was that the kid? Who played the kid in that movie? Because I can't remember the kid's name. Because Cloak and Dagger is so fun. Yes. And Henry Tom, so cool. And and uh I love Dabney Coleman. Like Dabney Coleman's been one of my one of these unsung character actors for for years. For those that haven't seen Cloak and Dagger, it is about the kid that gets involved with these spies, right? And he has this uh imaginary friend, uh played by uh, Dabney Coleman. Who helps him when it comes to uh you know he, he helps him in, in the action it's really cool anyway it's something that's really worth checking into and um as fun as uh drop dead fred is this is the penultimate imaginary friend picture with a ton of action would be one of the first universal titles for v it would be they have some universal titles they got some mgm titles so there's a lot of stuff that uh doesn't think my success would get a criterion release and might I mean like Criterion are doing a lot more like straightforward regular stuff now, so it could. I'm not something I would normally say for uh, Criterion, but uh, con considering some stuff they put out recently, uh, yeah, you may <laughs> it could very well get one. Uh, not quite sure if it would uh, a few years back, but now I think Criterion's at the point where it's like we're gonna play whatever sells and uh, sells well. So yeah, definitely. And I actually did like that film by the way. So let's look at the announcement. Look at everything that's there. No, no, this is not based off the old Marvel comic. That's that actually had a, a TV series that ran for two seasons. It was actually pretty good. Um, we watched the first season, but actually we binged it one day. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's dive right into the announcement. Um, we got some big guesses here with Cloak and Dagger, um, Scared to Death. So let's just read this right now and go through. Hey there, Michael. Michael has an amazing channel there, there by the way. Hey there, George. 
at your friend's house. Enjoy time with your friends. Tell them I said hi and go have a good time. Um, we got Michael on here. We got Brian Sauer from Just the Discs, Discs on here. Uh, I almost made that sound like something completely different, Brian. <laughs> uh, and uh, we got Jay here from Delirium. So let us dive right into this now. And a bunch of really cool cats here. So if you have, if any of you guys have any channels or podcasts or anything that you want to pimp out, make sure that you do. Is that a garage sale? This guy was <laughs> just a dick. <laughs> For some reason, Michael, I could see you making the podcast. <laughs> uh, with some of his old graphic, no, I would have killed to be there, Sean. I definitely would have been. So let's dive into this right now, and let's read this out. So our Colossal Flash pre-order for our even more Colossal 2022 half to Black Friday sale is happening in just seven days from when this was on. So on Friday, March the 25th, 12.01, so you guys know I'm going to be here. And we'll be doing the live unveiling of that over on the Patreon channel. Uh, so uh, to, so that we can react in like in real time, make sure uh, of what this. So we got here, we got a third VSU. This time it's an early mid action adventure classic from a writer, director, each of whom have had some major genre film pedigree. I think Tom Holland wrote, uh, is it Tom Holland? That wrote uh, the the cloak and dagger. Same guy that did like Child's Play, and uh, wrote like Psycho Two. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So yeah. So really fits. <laughs> Gabe Warren. I actually will. I would listen to that. I totally would. Uh, our official four K UHC Blu Ray edition of Bo Iron Vibernas. I I hope I got that right. Thriller will. F- finally be up for pre-order this is the thriller to get guys like no shade on the other company but i mean if you're a real big fan of thriller uh you're a big fan of christina Lindbergh, this is the edition that you're gonna want um like this is the one to get the lavish set will feature both official theatrical cuts of the film exclusively restored in 4k from the original negative and presented are they gonna have the uncut one okay uh, and just fully uncut and untampered with for the first time ever, along with a host of new and archival extras headlined by an over 40 minute long making of documentary. That's actually should be pretty cool. Yeah, director Richard Franklin. I've... Did Psycho too? Hey there, Neil. Welcome, man. It, I think, is strong. Cloak and Dagger would be, a, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Cloak and Dagger would be a big one for Vinegar Sternum. This would be, and in my opinion, a big step in the right direction. For uh, some of the stuff that they can do in the future, not everything has to be horror or uh, or porn. Nothing wrong with horror and porn, but uh, stuff like these releases here, kind of the uh, these that kind of like skirt in and bring in a bigger, uh, bigger, wider audience. Like my cousin Raj has watched a lot of crazy, insane crap with me, <laughs> but a movie like Cloak and Dagger, something that he would know automatically. Whereas if I said, "Hey," Did you watch it? Do you know what Devil Story is? Before we, <laughs> he came to my house, probably not. <laughs> but th- so this is the type of film that that gets in people that weren't watching, that weren't like knowing Vinegar Syndrome before. So much in the, like the way that Rad did. I think I, though I think this cat captures and casts an even wider net than uh, than Rad did. So hopefully that's the one. Heather Chester, I, me too. I haven't bought a lot of Vinegar Syndrome recently either, and they had a Jello set. And I'm like waiting on sale. For that, but uh, I do want to get Cloak and Dagger. That's actually a big title for me. Uh, okay. All right, let's go on. We have, uh, we'll also be unveiling two more May releases one, an early 70s horror double feature celebrating regional treasures, and the other world UHD debut of the most be- one of the most beloved action films to emerge from the late 80s. One of the most beloved action films to emerge from the late 80s. Presented in both its commonly seen release version. Is this an MGM title, guys? As well as its impossible to find original cut. Is this an Albert Pion film? Uh, did I pronounce his name right? Um, is it Pion? Is it? I will go Pion. Uh, is this an Albert Pion film? Is this something like a? Uh, oh, there's a yeah. If it's him, like it's a he's got a lot of uncovered really, uh, cuts of his films. Both of whom, of which have been restored from long believed lost negative elements. Really, we only found them this month. Okay, wow. Uh, last month. That's pretty cool. 
It, it makes sense, Michael. Like, I'm not like saying it is, but it kind of makes sense. He, he's one of the directors that has a, a Puyan. Thank you. Uh, I have, oh, man. I got to pronounce something wrong every time. Uh, <laughs> because he has so many uncut, uh, uncut films out there. Like, almost everyone would have got an uncut version. Uh, you know, Cyborg had an uncut version. Uh, I remember uh, Winnie the Cat in America. There's a much longer version of that. I think he was selling it on his website um, for uh, for a while. Plus, you better pre-order and secure your copy of this year's dynamic duel of sub secret surprise titles, one of which is sure to please 80s monster pick. Um, 80s monster, monster pick fans, I guess. And the other, the latest in our dig into the weird world of WTF cinema. Hey there, Henry. Welcome, man. Hey, Disconnected. Disconnected, unfortunately, has lost his voice where he would be on the screen right now. It was Night's Late 80s. Huh. That'd be interesting if it is. That would be an interesting choice. 93, damn it. WTF could be Meet the Hollowheads. Um, I remember that film. Is that the film with uh, the girl from uh, Natural Born Killers? Why am I forgetting her name? Uh, Kenny Rogers doesn't even look like Kenny Rogers anymore. <laughs> uh, so, what? Yeah, Jude Lewis. Yeah. She doesn't meet the Hollowheads, right? Meet the hollow heads. Oh. Why should why else should you be marking the date of the pre-order? Well, next week and only you'll be saving by ordering the complete May package. Yes, the package price of the package is lower than the sum total of the films will be during the sale. Plus, pre-order participants have their entire halfway to Black Friday sale order shipped first, directly following subscribers, directly following subscribers. Make sure that you know that because you know. Uh, some people got upset last time. <laughs> uh, save money and get your movies faster. What could be better? See you next Friday, and you will see me here next Friday. Hey, hey, Dave, welcome out. I am curious about the action cl clue. I'm, I'm curious about all these. these are. This is a good lot. I mean, for me, a man versus film again, another fantastic channel. Kind of coming on here, disconnected, another fantastic channel. We're loaded with like some great people on here tonight. And Anne Ramsey. Oh, Anne Ramsey, yeah. Throw them out from the train, right? Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, that movie with uh, the girl that went, kind of went a bit crazy, the girl played Buffy, um, where she throws the basketball. The, yeah. Yeah. She throws the basketball at her head and like, like crushes her head. Deadly friend. <clears throat> Love me some Anne Ramsey. Uh, I hope it's like, I wouldn't mind it being that actually. I'll, I'll be cool with Meet the Hollowheads. It's a quirky title. Uh, that's for sure. But, uh, oh my God, there's so much goodness that uh, that can come out of this. So for those that, that don't know, I usually do, if I got the bones on me, I usually do the pre-order for, uh, for the half. I don't know if I'm going to do it this time, though. I'm going to try. Cunin is Clyde Barker's under what were I saw that actually transmutations from director of Rawhead Rex. Uh, Clyde Barker was not a fan of that film, which is a shame because I really did like Rawhead Rex. Uh, I think Clyde Barker was wrong in the fact that it didn't do his film well. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. This is the Justice League of YouTubers. <laughs> um, <laughs> Antoine, um, this is going to be a big one. Uh, if it is thriller, well, we know it's thriller. But if we're getting Cloak and Dagger, and it really strongly looks like Cloak and Dagger, Radioactive Dreams would be a killer title. That's a cool little film. Uh, but I wish it was, man. Because <laughs> can you imagine getting Cloak and Dagger, Thriller, and Radioactive Dreams in the same month? That would be a knockout of the park. Uh, hell yeah. But that being said, these are good titles. Uh, and if Cloak and Dagger is in this v next VSU, that really, really does give uh, just such a great like uh, pedigree to what we've been seeing from VSU. <laughs> Don't do that, man. I actually have had seizures. <laughs> uh, the epileptic in me. 
I'm I'm pretty sure. I mean, like at this point, I can't imagine anything else it could be uh, aside from cloak and dagger. Um, but can can you imagine if it was like something like like nobody like really wants <laughs> Cardona? <laughs> it's Cardona Volume Two, and everybody's like, "Son of a!" <laughs> I'm sure it's cloak and dagger. Uh, so uh, hey, nerd of the '80s. I'm also I'm a geek of the '80s. So there you go. Um, yeah, this is a this is a cool one. Uh, Cloak and Dagger is such a cool little film. You remember that one? Remember watching that Cloak and Dagger? D did you have to go out to like dive to the five dollar Walmart bin to find it? Like I did at the time. <laughs> I like D on like DVD with like I think it was eight other titles. <laughs> Mine was anyway. <laughs> it's like it was like an action or family one. I think I had like a couple good titles like Cloak and Dagger and something else, and oh, then yes. yeah. a bunch of other yes. things. It was there. It was, it was there at, alone at, or in the family pack. Yeah, this. Well, I, I didn't see the alone one. I got, I got the family pack. And, and the what? And to get the family pack was cheaper to, than to get the Coca Dagger movie alone. <laughs> so the VHC was going to be pricey, man. Hey there, Chris. Welcome, man. Are all these tubs include with a year subscription, except for the VSU. So the VSU uh, you won't get as part of your subscription. Anything like a VSU or a VSA or a VSP. Uh, aren't part of the subscription, Chris. However, you will have, if I got it correct from when I was a subscriber, and I know that Disconnected and Brian are still subscribers for sure. Uh, King Ralph King Ralph was on that pack, actually. Yeah, yes. you're right. Uh, but uh, you get 50% off. So you'll, you'll still, you'll get the other stuff, but you still want to go in and grab the titles like Cloak and Dagger and stuff like that. Game over. That's what... That's what had me on it. Was it you, Jay, that sent me the uh, message that said that it looks like it looks like the cloak and dagger font? And I'm like, you're damn right. It looks like cloak and dagger font. Because uh, that was that 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 got me stoked. That was the first time. I'm not gonna lie. There's been a lot of cool stuff that's come out. Ven Vinegar Syndrome had been killing it this year, like killing it with their titles. However, this for me is is a, is a is a this is a this is a step. This is step now to the uh this is the next level i'm yeah i'm that big of a fan i'm not gonna lie like same when they did beastmaster uh i was a huge fan of like uh, that film you guys know i'm a don coscarelli like fanboy i love myself some phantasm uh do you have the phantasm films huh? do you have the phantasm films you need the phantasm films they're amazing 80s classic and 90s classic too and anybody that's a subscriber right now, pat yourself on the back because this is going to be a big month for you. <clears throat> Thriller is a great little film. If you've never seen Thriller, or Cruel Picture, The Color One Eye, uh, it stars Christina Lindbergh, who is a gorgeous lady. And uh, she, she did like a bunch of these films. What's in it for you? Dave, if, you're, if you are not a subscriber and you then the best way for you to get this is to if these are releases that you think you're going to want like the entire package up and that's the thing we don't um i don't see any surf twos here so far so we're pretty good uh i, I like war games too actually but hey warlock book man uh but i i i think cloak and is more is a more of a a stronger bet for uh, for this because i can't even who directed war games again it was a big director but it wasn't a genre director i don't think I'm not a subscriber anymore, Mike. <laughs> Are you saying you're better than me, man? <laughs> uh, but if you're not a subscriber, Dave. Jump at him. Jump at him, yeah. Well, you did to Dracula, I guess. So that, you know, that, that is genre. Like that. <laughs> and any legs he slips they have. John Batham, there you go. Say, <laughs> you both say it at the same time. Welcome, by the way, Matt. Um, is that it really pays to uh, to do the pre-order? If you're not a subscriber and these are titles you're looking to grab, it really plays pays to do the pre-order. Now, not just because you're going to get things at an extremely cheaper price, but you are. Not just because you're going to get things earlier than other people that aren't subscribers 
from the that order from the sale. But you are. But because when the sale starts, when you go into this sale and everybody's running in and they're panicking. Hey, Joe, Josephine, welcome, man. Uh, they're panicking to grab the stuff and get what they want. You know what you're not doing? You're not going over and putting those new surprise like May titles into your cart because that's done. You have done that. You're not adjusting in your head the money amount as well. So you're like, okay, if I buy all the May titles, can I get this title? Can I get this? Uh, can I get the legacy one? Oh, there's some that are low. Yeah, uh, do I have? Can I? Can I put enough money across to get the May titles and also get this title here that looks like it's in, it's a low, it's got a low print run. Um, you get that peace of mind. And I cannot tell you how important that peace of mind has been for me as a, as a collector and as like a, somebody when it comes into these sales. Hey, Strange, I welcome man. Because that peace of mind is incredible. Thank you, by the way, everybody that has hit the like button. I, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Culture Shock's got a new release coming on uh, new title coming April 12th. Have they announced it yet? I'm probably not. Probably gonna be announced. We'll be doing announcements. Uh we'll be doing the big announcements. We're doing the so Friday night, Thursday night, actually, Thursday night, Friday, we'll be doing the, you know, I'll be on here. I'll be doing a live show on my regular channel. It'll be transitioning over to my Patreon for the announcement for the for the unveiling of the announcement. So we'll be doing that. So I'm going to have a regular video and a Patreon video uh, that night because it's going to be pretty good. You know what it is? Can you say or is it kind of like one of those things you can't say? If you can't say, it's okay. Hey there, Chris. Welcome, man. Chris is one of the few people that like liked comic books that are in here. I am actually, actually picked up a X-Force shirt. Uh, Rob Liefeld, Fabian Isla era. You're you're so you're a subscriber to some Warlock, right? <clears throat> oh, that sucks. You feel better, Josephine. It's not Gamer Survival that's coming later. Oh, there's a few cool releases that are coming out though. I mean, like Kino Lorber's been putting out some uh, some decent genre titles as well, especially some of the ones that were initially came out from from Screen Factory. And uh, it's nice if you missed out because, like, not everybody started buying Screen Factory when Screen Factory started, like, their stuff. I started buying stuff, uh, and I bought for a long time initially, like, uh, the early stuff that they did. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that went out of print I already had. Um, but for a lot of people that came in, like, buying Screen Factory and stuff later, uh, <laughs> you keep trying that. One of these days it'll work. <laughs> um I'm packing away. Yes, we will be doing the halfway. Thank you, Strange, for mentioning that. This So this, there's two times a year where you can get a subscription. Now, this is when you get the cheap subscription. This is a half-year subscription. This only happens during May. Uh, they'll give you, they'll have an announcement for what's coming up for the rest of the year. They'll, you won't know everything, but you know a few things that will be announced and things will be hinted out. There'll be clues given out. They'll break it down month by month, and they'll give you the amount for a half-year and that is high rock zombies is this year's spookies okay uh, that is that is high praise jay because spookies rocked uh spookies was was so fun it's insane it's extremely not well made but it's a hell of a lot of fun um and it's not now don't blame it's not the person that made it. it's not their fault like two people made <laughs> made spookies and they didn't put the special effects in where they're supposed to so poor like i cannot imagine being one of the people that had to go see Spookies after the accident. In it. And they're like ducking their heads down for these like creatures that are supposed to be like zooming out of the sky and they're not there and they just look like idiots. Um, any speculation on the price of the half year subscription? Definitely going to be more than last year. Uh, 100%. I mean, what was it last year? Because uh, I got it last year. It, it got it. It took me, cost me quite a bit. Hold on a second. 
I gotta check my last year's subscription price was. So if I don't see your comments for a second, that's why. I'm not a robot vinegar syndrome. Oh my god, tractors. Please shag off with them. I hate that new thing where vinegar syndrome does. Uh, so I think Canadian price I paid for the halfway subscription last year. Uh, I had a I think had a discount. But it was around six hundred and thirty dollars Canadian. So what's that in American, guys? <clears throat> oh, X-ray and Skitside for sure. Do you, have you watched X-ray and Skitside yet? I love those. Rob Liefeld's dudes. <laughs> I actually really love Rob Liefeld stuff. I'm I'm not gonna lie. The new VSU Ragman. We're guessing. It is Cloak and Dagger with uh, Henry Thomas and Dabney Coleman. X-Ray and Skitsai were such uh, were such fun films. Uh, eventually, I want to I want to get those down the road because I do have like the Blu-rays of them. I'm actually thinking of doing the the scary thing, guys. I love movies. I, I love collecting movies. I love all the vinegar syndromes that I got. But, and this is where the butt comes in. I'm going to float this by you guys. So if you're here now and you're collecting vinegar syndrome, think about this. I might sell some slip covers. Yep, I might actually do it. Because as long as I got the movie and the case, I'm good. So uh, I might actually sell some slip covers. And uh, I got some rare ones. <laughs> so I don't have blood hook, but I got some rare ones. Just saying. Hey there, John. Welcome, man. Anything that gets me closer to being able to buy something uh, this month. So, uh, well, when it comes up. So, yeah, I don't know. I uh, don't know how I do it. Do you do it on eBay? Do you do it on whatnot? I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking. Not really. Cloak and Dagger is a really, really cool little title. It's got a great genre back, uh, backing to it. Uh, it's a fun action-y title. It, you know, their other VSUs have been uh, Beastmaster, which was pretty lauded by like a lot of people. A lot of people love Beastmaster. Then there's Six String Samurai, where people are on the fence about it. Some people liked it. Some people didn't. And uh, then and VSU like Cloak and Dagger that would fit in perfectly along those. I'm, I'm definitely. Thing to sell, like I got a few. I mean, I have, I got the original man. I, I have the, the what was the other one? I have the Undertaker for crying out loud. <laughs> Some people are crazy uh, for those YouTube auction one. That's actually, that's actually a thought as well. I just got to figure out how to do it. I, I'm not like uh, see, because me uh, the films. That's the that's the thing for me. But I know people are crazy into the slip covers. And that's cool. Um. Yeah, because this still fits along the action-y type of style that a VSU can have. And uh, I like the fact that they're doing this. This is the, what I want to see come from the VSU. Like, the VSU line is a line that I'm excited to. Uh, if if Cloak and Dagger hits the VSU line, it's... Uh, oh, I got the Jack Frost slip, too. There you go, guys. <laughs> um, but... Uh, I'm going to keep them. That's lenticular. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. That's what I'm thinking about. So slips are easy to mail out. And I collect the Vinger Center from the early point, so I end up getting a lot of the early ones. But I don't know. I, I don't know how to price those things. It, it's weird. I have to look online just see what people do for stuff like that. It seems just weird to do. See, once I was collecting the Vestron stuff, and what, but once I got like Double Dragon and the slip was in there. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I got shout was a great one. I told people about shout, man. I told people. <laughs> it's crazy. We went to pay crazy prices for a piece of paper. Well, that's it. That's the thing, the way to do it. I, I see people using whatnot a lot nowadays, and I'm not sure how that how that works. I have no idea, Ragman. No clue. Uh, but eventually I'm moving, and, and all my movies are getting packed away. So uh, if uh, that's going to be the case, then that then the idea of like having the slips go to uh, some people that actually kind of collect them and dig that stuff, yeah, that's, that's not a bad thing. Vortex from Gaspar Noah. Jared Gento is an actor. Oh, nice. I'm excited about the new Jared Gento film. Newman's a cool one. I mean, there's there's some really cool ones there. Uh, what's the name of it? The vampire one with uh, the guy from uh, West Side Story. That's a really nice looking one. That's probably one of my favorites, actually. It's got this, like, is it pale blood? It's got this, like, white, like, uh, look, and it's just really classic looking. So guessing would triple the value, but yeah, no, I collect films. So uh, if that be, see, then you're not my target audience for that. <laughs> I gotta find people that actually want, like, say, okay, these I have to have these slips, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> great. Oh, uh, but you know, no, seriously, let's get away from that for a second. But anyway. Floating it out there could happen. Uh, could happen sooner rather than later. If I do, I'll let you guys know like a few days ahead of time. If there is something that you're interested in, uh, there were, yeah, there could you know there could be a Cardona or a Ebola syndrome that gets actual title that gets put in along with the with some of those. So if somebody doesn't have the Cardona collection that actually does want it or or wants the Ebola 4K, uh, that might actually be sold as well. A uh, thriller is not a VSU. Thriller is going to be one of the ones, uh, John. That's uh, that's coming as a uh, as the regular. I say they're going to give it a nice, like, really well done, like uh, like case. But it's you know because they can still do those cases without being a VSU. Just look at their uh, some of the other stuff they did. The uh, Fashion Franks had a nice case to it. You know, hard box. Uh, but uh, yeah, thriller is not a VSU. The VSU is uh, is looks like it's going to be cloak and dagger. See, Thriller fits in along with the regular Vinegar Syndrome style title. For those that haven't seen Thriller, it's a revenge film. So, uh, they, it's and it's a good revenge film, too. Yeah, I'm going to say probably like a sensor style box for, uh, for that. I'm not going to show if we're going to any Scream Factory ones because I think they're already packed. Um... Uh, um, I gotta check. Like those ones had like rare slips too, didn't they? Uh, I don't know even know if I got the films anymore. I, I might have. I, just, I know I got slips somewhere. Yeah, it's like I didn't even think people look at vinegar syndrome stuff. I had, I had like Scream Factory stuff. Who knows? It could happen. Christine Limburg is definitely the model for Daryl Hannah's character in, in Kill Bill. You can actually see it when you look at uh, <laughs> the picture for her on uh, from Thriller. Has anybody here seen Thriller? I'm going to guess. I'm pretty sure Brian's seen it. I know for sure that uh, that Michael's seen it, and uh, I'd be willing to bet Warlock's on. <laughs> Disconnected for sure. <laughs> Has seen Thriller. Uh, Christine Limburg. I would like to see more by Christine Limburg. Hey, San Arcadia, welcome, man. Oh, yeah, same here. Like, my dad had the original DVD of it. I saw it back then. Uh, the last movie I saw from Christine Lindbergh, oh, God. It wasn't like a, a thriller. It was not like an action film. It was, uh, she was going to see her older sister who lived in, like, the city, and her sister had a boyfriend. Uh, oh, God, what's the name of the title? And I like a one. It was a name, and it was a character's name. It was a sexy film, apparently. Not like adult or anything like that. 
Hey, Kaz, welcome, man. We love Australia here on the channel. Sex and Fury is great. Main Sweden's a really good one. It's Main Sweden, I think. Is Main Sweden the one where she goes to see her sister? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember the name of it now. I think it was Main Sweden. Kind of a coming of age type film. Because and I got to check something here. They want to look at the Kino Lorber stuff as well. Uh, looks like, I don't know if I got this or not. I don't think I do. I thought I had Jack the Box original, but Jack the Box Awakening uh, from Full Mo from Howling with Records. Definitely check that out. Sex and Fury. Sex and Fury is a great one. Um, it's it's one I recommend. If you ever see that coming out, buy it. Uh, Thriller is a classic. Like it's it's probably one of her best known uh, films. And just for those, just we'll do it right now. We'll do a real quick uh, look at the stock. Um, so there are. Proud family, the complete series. I'm, I don't, probably not right now because I got Disney Plus. <laughs> All right, so let us see which of these because this, this is a limited edition stuff that's out of stock. Why do they leave the lived the out of stock stuff on limited edition page? Uh, let's see how low things are before we drop over to like the other. Let's do a count. Let's do a count for the stuff that's out here. So we've got sugar cookies here. It's over a thousand left for that. Uh, Legacy Slip, Nightmare Weekends, got down to five twenty-eight. That's where the Shout Select sale as well. Actually, that's a good sale. Uh, people ragged on the Shout Select stuff, but honestly, the sale was really, really good. Film that re recently discovered. That's what I'm, I'm kind of curious about. That's what I, I haven't guessed. We're pretty sure on, on Cloak and Dagger, uh, there's a possibility of a William Malone film. And uh, if that's the case, that'd be awesome. Hangs But Nothing is 694. I'm pretty sure this is 30 left for Count Jackson's Great Love. So if you want this like legacy slip, then there's the going to be time to get it now. Uh, Severed Arm has gone under 1,923. Um, uh, good film, not the greatest looking slipcover from here anyway. Uh, 48 left for best friends. If you wanted to grab this now, a lot of these here are going to be available once just with a slipcover afterwards. But if you're collecting with these and you want them all along, you want to have them like disconnect has got them. And I'm sure probably sure Brian and Michael has them like all and me <laughs> at this point, at least, uh, like all on your shelf with the slipcovers in intact and you want to get them like this. They're not Victorians. For you Picorama fans out there. Has 931 left. At Perfect Strange, we're looking at 733. We got over a thousand left at the 11th commandment. Uh yeah, nobody tends to be going into that one at all. 53 left for indecent exposure. Two weeks from my birthday, by the way, guys. One less than two. 11 days? Holy crap. Is this the 20th? Yeah. This is the 20th? Shh, jeez. 11 days. And I'm going to be one year older. My cousin's birthday is like uh, a month before mine. So uh, he's way older than me. <laughs> I'm sticking with that. Vampire suck. God, no. Uh, that's a horrible, horrible film. Uh, my better half, like we, she turned on Netflix one day and she said, Oh, let's just watch this. It looks like it'll be funny. And she's the type of person, like, no matter how bad a movie is, 
She just got to watch till the end when she started. That was a horrible film. That, that was 90 minutes of my life. I can't get back. Uh, 816 members uh, are left for Memorial Valley Massacre. Uh, the very first VSU, still over 1,000, is the Beastmaster. If you don't have this one, guys, like with Cloak and Dagger coming up, if you don't have the original VSU Beastmaster, I do recommend it. It's a really, really good film. Fade to Black, of course. That's probably low by now. I had 287. So if you want to get Fade to Black, this is the only cover you're going to get. And it's actually a pretty cool looking cover. I have both of them because I was a subscriber at the time. Uh, High School Fantasies is down to 438. I think this is an egg for release. Uh, taxi Girls is down to 14. So you want to get yourself some Taxi Girls. There you go. I have a story. But I can't say it on this regular channel. Yeah, it's the thing. Beastmaster is now down. Thanks for pointing that out, Orion. So Beastmaster is now down to the uh, to its regular case. So you're not going to get the VSU box. Dracula sucks. Now that is a good title. Classic, awesome film. 640 for Satan's Blood. Cthulhu Mansion at 775. Dark Tower still over a thousand. People ragged on Dark Tower. Hitcher in the Dark is a really good one. That's still over a thousand, which is a shame. That's a really good title. The Fear, the Fear, still over a thousand. Seriously, Forgotten Jolly Volume Three is over a thousand, which is a shame because that's the best one. I expect this one to go go this time. Uh, S World is over a thousand. Four K edition of that one. I'm getting like. My uh, monetization taking off anyway lately. Uh, we got Death Promise here is over a thousand for that one. Uh, Last Gasp, I'm gonna guess that's still over a thousand for that one there. Rush Week, and that's definitely gonna be over a thousand. I don't think any more of these are gonna be down any lower. I'll check All American Murder because that one's like 883 All American Murder. Six star coupon. I think I used it last at early beginning of the year. Michael King just put a new a brand new video, the the farmer Blu-ray review. Uh, so definitely make sure you check that out. We also got the latest uh, less the, uh, just to this video, which is the March Blu-ray collection update. Uh, we've got some Flickr Alley stuff, some Criterion, some 80 Films, some Indicator stuff. So we've got some great stuff there. There we go. And yesterday we got the Boutique Art Celebration Layered Butter Cinematic Art Book from uh, The Disconnected. And before that, there was a cult crossover one that was done about uh, two days ago, March Madness Tournament. No, there are no zombies in uh, Zombie Island Massacre. <laughs> if you watch the right Zombie Island Massacre, the answer is that. Uh, spoiler alert, no. Parlor for a movie that was done back in the 70s? Nope. It's very Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> you can grab it now, but you, if you get it, if you wait for the sale, you get it at, at half out. I gotta wait for the sale for uh, volume four. Grave Secrets is a VSA. That's down to 421. So if you're collecting the VSAs, I try to get the horror VSAs at least. I tried to get, I'm trying to get them all. But at the end, uh, like, don't think I can afford to grab them all. Like, I would love to get homegrown horrors, uh, but uh, I'm I'm probably, unless it makes it into the next sale, uh, I'm probably not going to get it. I thought it was filmed in the 70s. I could be wrong, man, on the date of it. Um, but, yeah, no, it's... Uh, Zombie Island Massacre. 
Uh, did you watch to the end? <laughs> Alley Cat, which if you haven't gotten Alley Cat, 729 left on Alley Cat. This is a really cool film. And I definitely recommend Alley Cat. Recommend Terminal Island all day and night. Uh, great little film. I was over a thousand dollars, but I do recommend picking up that one. Hey, Master Chaos, welcome. It's been a while, dude. Are you excited about the possibility of Cloak and Dagger coming on 4K as the next VSU? Because everybody here is pretty excited about Cloak and Dagger. I know I'm super excited about Cloak and Dagger. Th Ragnar's got great taste. Alley Cat. This was the one that was pimping. When people were saying Champagne and Bullets is a movie to watch, I was like, just wait. <laughs> just wait till it comes out. Yeah, I got the, uh, I got it. Did I get that one initially? No, I didn't get initially when it came out. Uh, <clears throat> when, I, well, the initial Beastmaster, genuinely good one. The first one, genuinely good. Beastmaster is incredible. Uh, but Cloak and Dagger, yes, this brings it to a next level. It was a great release. I, I just haven't been able to get it. Uh, the Nothing Underneath, Too Beautiful to Die, uh, Mystery, Double Feature, because I'm sorry. I'm still not calling it a Jello. Uh, that doesn't take away from it. I think everybody should know that. Did you buy? That's right. You're a subscriber. Wait a minute. Towns Eagles now, now not with your subscription. <laughs> you had to buy that VSA on your own, man. Um, yeah, no. I, I tapped out at TC2000. Oh. That was the release that like made me think, do I want every VSI? Like I kind of do, but oh, there you go. That's not bad then. I watched a movie called Saturday Morning Mystery. Yeah, I did actually. I see. I actually enjoyed it. Here's the lights are actually a really good title. Um, Blades is the title. Some people like this film. Uh, it ain't my ba bag. You like TC2000? <sighs> See, my better half, Michael. You get along with my better half, like, totally. Those type of films, those action films, uh, like, no matter how cheap it is, like, kind of fun. Devil Story is completely watchable. If you've never seen Devil Story, it's fun. Like, I'm not going to tell you Devil Story is a competently put-together piece of work. It's not, actually. Uh, you did. Yeah, Michael Keane did the, did the stuff. Now I got to buy Talents. See, now I gotta buy it. Michael, you sucked me in. I like the Devil Story. It's weird. It's it's insane. But I was never bored. Devil Story never bored me. And that's that's where you get to the, to this. Uh, see, Blades bored me at times. Like I was bored uh, when it, like like I didn't watch all Blades yet. Uh, I'll watch it. That's one I got to watch with, with my cousin because there's no way in hell I can watch it on my own. Uh, but uh, there's certain titles that I, I can tell you right now. I'll, I'll be honest when when I like a film and when I when I don't like a film. Like I I really really found it hard. Like I've fallen asleep level with Cardona, but with Blaze wasn't that bad. It definitely. Oh, it's it should make the sale cut actually. Because it's in, like the Forgotten Jolly was done in January. So it has to make the sale cut. Exactly. But, uh, I own it. <laughs> I don't know why it's Blades. I was a subscriber, man. I had no choice. Um, I own the fancy version with the slipcover and everything. Uh, so not really, no. Like this is where I got to disagree because we have on here nothing underneath too beautiful to die, which is a really good double feature. And uh, it, not only that, but nothing underneath. I think that's the first one, right? Is it, that's the first one, right? Nothing underneath. Because we watched both of them. What's the other one? Uh, too beautiful to die. Too, so nothing underneath. I think it's the first one. So if you're into or know anything about like the fashion industry, uh, nothing underneath is extremely well done, uh, like extremely well done. And the fact that they were able to hook in the people that they got like behind the scenes impressed my better half, who uh, doesn't watch this stuff. 
Resurrection is an okay seven knockout. It's not great, but it's good uh, because you know it's 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 Chris Rambert. Plays where has to become a subscriber. Uh, see, it, it, there's gr but there's such great stuff aside from that too. Like, um, Tix is a fun little film. Like, it, you know, you're looking at like uh, some interesting stuff there. Um, don't they had like Kim Keaton box it? With it's okay. Uh, but. The first film on it that we watched, the one where it was supposed to be like a Jello one with ten minutes of extra sex scenes that we that that you really didn't want. Uh, like I mean, like never uh, ever before. Like if anybody watched my channel would ever hear me say, especially in a Camille Keaton film, would have me say, uh, like. I gotta, I really, uh, please, no more sex scenes. Uh, like, or shorten this sex scene. But in the Camille Keaton in the Italy box set with that film, um, holy crap, man. It, it was painful. Now, halfway subscription isn't a bad place to start. Have a great day there, Michael. I'll check out your review afterwards because the farmer came in from the, the company that I'm not going to buy from. So I'll watch your review. Uh, the thing is, if you're not sure about, I see, I like two of the films, but the one of them I was really iffy on. Um, like two of them were, were decently good, like good films, but uh, one of them was, was rough. Uh, but yeah, if you're not sure in a year long subscription, but you got the bones to do like half year start there. Uh, for me, I did the half year and I didn't go in for the next new year, even though there's a lot of stuff that came out. Now people that went in for the year. Now that being said, like what a great start to your year. You got a Jello box set, got a bunch of like really cool stuff. You got the x-ray schizoid in 4k. Um, and I'm sorry, but if there's somebody out there that doesn't like X-ray and Schizoid as a double feature, you you just you're not fun. <laughs> you're not a you're not a fun person anymore. Uh, see, Travis, I'm you're looking at the biggest Jess Franco fan in the world, <laughs> and, and uh, maybe maybe if it would have been like um, like uh, Lena Romay, that <laughs> scene. And it would have been shot by Jess Frank. It would have been different. The discount's also something to look at. Uh, so remember this, guys. It, you may not get a month where everything is knocking it out of the park for you. But at the end of the day, if you get enough out of it that you really like, and you got, and you know you're going to have some extra money on the side, the boss says, oh, but thank you, Cam, man. Uh, it is my first Super Chat in, in a while, and I appreciate it. I really, really, truly do. Hope you're doing well, too. Um, the, uh, Hey, Indy, welcome. Are you excited, man? Cloak and Dagger 4k. What are you thinking about it? Are you excited about Cloak and Dagger and 4k? Dabney Coleman and T Henry Thomas. I'm excited about, about Cloak and Dagger. But yeah, let's look here. Let's look at their latest release. I'm going to, I want to give you an idea because you guys are asking like, should I go for the there's a halfway subscription coming up? And you could see visiting hours come up with like uh, uh, down the road too, because I think that one's been out of their uh, a Scream Factory catalog. But that was done with uh, Bad Dreams. People would love like uh, <laughs> that uh, double feature in 4K. Trust me. Um, so you got stuff here like uh, Reform School Girls, which is a fun title. Definitely not as a uh, as as sleazy as it sets uh, out to be, but as you think it's going to be. But it, it's a lot of fun. Um, Skitside X Ray, that's a great double feature right there. Um, Hard Rock Zombies, Slaughterhouse Rock, super cheesy fun. Uh, 
Madman on 4K is a great release to have on 4K. And getting like the earlier stuff, like uh, like Drop Dead Fred, Sister Sister was a cool little title. I actually like that film. Um, I'm not a fan of like uh, Fortress of America, which is one of the reasons that uh, I'm uh, I'm iffy. I can't, man. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to be here by next year. Uh, so uh, it will be really hard because I have nowhere to. I would literally. I'd have to be like you, Indy, because Indy lives like works away, and so he has his stuff. Like he gets goes back home, right? And um, and then you got a bunch of stuff waiting for you. But uh, I don't know if I'd be able to do. I, I think about that down the road. Like uh, if if I'm in Morocco in November when the thing happens, I'm you know because obviously in Morocco I ain't buying much physical media. I'm, <laughs> I'm really not. It's just I just won't be able to. So if I if I got the extra bones of me and I'm I'm not going anywhere. Uh, yeah, it makes Bia is a little bit easier for me to do like subscription at that point than to send to my kids or something like that and just pick it up uh, later on. But uh, when I'm right now, where there's stuff that comes out on a monthly basis, and I'm traveling and they're getting ready uh, to like to see stuff, uh, you know, whether I get moved now or I get moved next year, or, like some of our, our stuff might move before us. So, you know, that takes that takes away for from a lot of it hard rock times it, it, it's weird though like like devil's story hard rock times is weird i don't even have hard rock times i it took a lot to figure which one it was um but i did i did like slaughterhouse rock i like that one back there i remember that one i'm not sure if it's going to hold up as well as it would back then yeah like what i mentioned right there <laughs> been three years they've gone on that's crazy i mean like they just was it tomorrow yeah things are changing a bit tomorrow wolfpack surprise i haven't seen wolfpack uh i don't think i've seen wolfpack. i'm pretty sure i haven't seen it dead heat i like i like that film some people rag on joe piscobo those people can go shot <laughs> it was good in that film damn it mono copies of sale this weekend Okay, I'll definitely be on here for the Mon Macabre sale coming up this week. And so we'll be doing a video. Uh, so we're doing a live video here on the channel on Thursday. And then we're doing the Patreon video. We're directly after that going in for the reveals of the Halfway to Black Friday titles, the ones that they do reveal because they won't be revealing all of them. They're going to just give clues to the other ones. And then either on Saturday or, yeah, probably Saturday we'll do. Uh, I'm a super wise guy. Um <laughs> uh, so uh, if you're, that's also one to uh, to check out too as well. Have a good night there, Warlock. Wise guys, I know what you meant. <laughs> Since I just said Joe Pisco, I knew exactly. What Seriously, stay inside and stay safe, man. That's the killer part. Crazy times, my friends. Crazy times. Anywho, Kino Lorber. I've been putting out some stuff. Imprint put out some stuff recently, too. It's okay. Like, nothing really stood out to me. So I'm up. Here's some titles up for pre order from uh, from Kino Lorber. I'm only going to mention the ones that uh, I'm kind of big into. Too bad Vanessa's not here tonight. It's of its day. I mean, like, definitely it's a. Uh, uh, I don't think like Zombie Island Massacre is one of those that you're going to take, anybody's going to take seriously. Like, it's not like Mendingo Love or anything like that, man. Um, and you also have to take where it's set into consideration as well. I ordered Blu ray in about 10 months. I you know I haven't ordered one in well, Blu ray. Was it up? I guess maybe December it was the last Blu ray that I actually ordered. Well, I ordered one, but I canceled it. Was the, it was the alligator one because I couldn't afford it at the time. Uh, so yeah, that was probably it. Last one was December. Hey there, Kubrick, man. Welcome. So we got Eastern Promises on 4K. Love this film here. Uh, a mysterious, a ruthless and mysterious Russian. <laughs> well, shocked. Uh, 
but it's tied to one of the most dangerous crime families in London. Crosses paths to the midwife was come, it was comes across potentially. Oh, anyway, you you know the film. Uh, we got Dagmar's hot pants. There you go. Is on uh, is going to be coming out in uh, March twenty second. Now forever is coming out. Uh, Irving Berlin's Blue Skies. Rock Hudson's home movies. We got a sci-fi triple feature here. Man from Planet X, Beyond the Time Barrier, and The Amazing Transparent. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Edgar G. Elmer's triple feature. Shakedown is coming out from Joseph Pevney. That's actually a really good film. Um, Screams on Winter Night. Winter Night. Now, this one, I would... Uh, I, I, I would kind of get, because you know what? I was so peeved when, like, this was obviously put out initially. <clears throat> a Blu-ray was a thing in Morocco. Like I bought some Blu-rays in uh, in Morocco. Now they've gone pretty much like physical media. Morocco is pretty much a, a non-entity right now, unless you're getting like some burned out thing at a <laughs> in some like uh, like off the road shop or anything like that. But yeah, not not so much. I can't believe you hated Zombie Island Massacre. It's such a fun, cheesy film. But yeah, I wouldn't buy Screams of a Winter Night back in the day because of the company that that was from, but now it's out by Kino? Yeah, maybe mine. <clears throat> yeah, with the body of my enemies here, the Violent Breed's actually a pretty cool one by Fernando de Leo. So that's actually a really good Cool one to check out. Anything with the Lane Delon, you pretty much you're safe with. Um, New Year's Evil. I love the new case for this one. <clears throat> I, I'm hoping so, man. Um, we're trying. The way that what's working right now is even if we're not there, some of our stuff might be there sooner than we are. Um, we, we've got a lot. Like, all my moves are packed. Like, literally, pretty much, like, aside from what's behind me, like... Uh, and most of my shelf in this pack too. Uh, so it's just getting the bigger oversized stuff to, uh, you got great taste, Kirby. That's why um, to get packed. Uh, like all of my regular stuff is packed and some stuff is like taken out of the cases and put into like uh, um carrying case, you know, like those binders and stuff like that. So every one of my key, every one of my uh, keynotes, my vinegar syndromes are in binders right now. Hey, the river. Welcome. But it's, let's look at this one here because I actually am a really big fan of this film because it is such a weird, cheesy, different uh, like type of slasher. Uh, we got New Year's Evil here. Not sure, but the slip, but you know, it's fun. I mean, I already own this film. Hey, have a great one there, Master Cast. Make sure you check the Master Cast's channel. He does some amazing stuff. And I'm going to say it, Mistress, Mistress Chaos, too. She does great stuff on the channel, as does Brother Chaos. So make sure you check the Master Cast channel. He does some really cool stuff. He's got to have me on sometime soon. I'm just saying. I got to have him on too, though. There you go. <laughs> Enjoy your film, man. We got the Dr. Five films coming out here. <clears throat> kind of looks like bingo. It does kind of look like bingo. <laughs> uh, I actually kind of like this this cover here. Uh, this is really neat. It's got kind of a jowl type look to it. So if you don't have the, the, the Bumble Dr. Fives or Dr. Fives Rise Again, two fantastic Vincent Price films that I strongly, highly recommend. Like, they're really, really good. I can't imagine anybody not liking Dr. Fives. Tentacles is a fun little one, too. If you like monster films, um, you got, like, John Huston, Shelley Winters, Henry Fonda in this. This is a big cast for Ten Watch, guys. Uh, I think Bo Hopkins is in this, too. Yeah, he is. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> and I do love the cover here. It's much better than what I got. I got a double feature of Tentacles and another film. That uh, Screen Factory put out during one of their sales. We had a Cohen Films release there with uh, what's that one? Oranges and Sunshine. And Heed the Night here, a fantastic film by Norman Jewison. Uh, it's the 4K release of that one. And most of us saw that one, like hopefully in school, read the book and that. Did you like New Year's Evil? I love New Year's Evil. One of the neat things about it is. You think 
you, the, you inter, you're introduced to this person and you think, okay, this is the final girl. We're going to follow her all through. And you don't. <laughs> like, you don't. You follow the killer much more than you follow the final girl. And not in the, you know, <clears throat> the, you know, first camera point of view way. Rero has amazing stuff. I've, I mentioned him here on the channel before. I should do a Rero, like, centric video one of these days. I, I love their stuff. But, but yeah, and the killer is, like, inept as, as anything. He's not, his plan is stupid. Because he wants to kill people and at the at every time zone for New Year's Eve. And he messes up almost immediately. He kidnaps this girl, puts her in the has her in the back of his car, and she gets away. <laughs> so he has to find someone else to kill, <clears throat> which kind of takes the time schedule off a little bit. It, it's brilliant, like, like done. Like, and it's so insane. Um, yeah, they call me Mr. Tibbs. I love that line. Um can't you announce man Dubsy Fields? And Dubsy Fields is great. And any of the Dubsy Fields are fantastic. From the journals of Gene Seberg. It should be a great title. Uh, Grand Slam, which is another. I'm pretty sure this is, this is a U.S. Club. This is an Italian film, though. Uh, we got Breakout here with uh, Charles Bronson. Francis the Talking Mules collection. Not gonna lie, my dad and my uh, my dad loves these, so uh, I, you know, I, I dig the hell of that. That's kind of fun. We have oh, do, do yes, we do. Treasure of the Four Crowns in 3D Special Edition. <clears throat> what is? I don't even know what the best picture Oscars are. To be bluntly honest with you. I'm gonna go with Nightmare Alley. Is, is in there. I'm going to go with Nightmare Alley. <laughs> so uh, that would be my choice. It's probably not going to win because I chose it. Though. Son of Sam signs a cool little like uh, Pablum film. Super Wiggles. There you go. <laughs> Super Wiggles. Sounds way different than this. We got Without Warning. I, I, I like that. I love Graydon Clark stuff. Um so, you know, this was a fun one for me. Vaughn City is a really good little title for Sergio Saloma. Times Square. I really, really dug Times Square. For Fist Foot Dollars and Fork Feet Dollars more in 4K. I don't have either of those in 4K, so that would be amazing. And we got Yeti right here as well. Dementia, the daughter of Dark was a film shown at the theater in the, in the Blob, 1958. Wow. Yeah, it's just got another release. It's a fun, cheesy film. People, I think, went and expected way too much of this film when it initially came out, because maybe because of the cast or anything like that. But it is a really fun film. And this is actually a good cover. Like, I'm, I'm iffy on the New Year's Evil cover, but honestly, kind of worth it. Just to have the film because it is a good film, and this has Neville Brand. Anything Neville Brand's in, I like. I'm a huge Neville Brand fan, by the way, guys. Ready to actually get a vinegar syndrome release? What is, is that? The new film, that X film? I haven't seen that one yet. And there was some newer stuff that was announced recently, uh, as well. We got the sod here. Fixed eyes depiction of the Marquis de Sade. I was going to go into the imprint stuff. The imprint's had a bit of a sale. Um, it's not a huge sale. Like it's like five dollars off and stuff like that. Like we got like uh, this one here is thirty nine ninety five. It's on sale for thirty four ninety five. Uh, let's see if the box sets are any better. Like the bundles aren't too bad. Like if you want to get the bundles, like there's one here that's two thirty nine off for one hundred eighty. Uh, the imprint May bundle there is like. 369 down to 299. So that's not too bad. So if you're buying a bundle, it's worth it. But if you're buying like a just a regular release, it's only like five dollars off. But the bundles you're looking at saving yourself around like 50 bucks a bundle. So that's you know, that's definitely cool. So let's just say you couldn't afford the four hundred dollar like uh bundles that imprint puts out but you can afford maybe like a 300 one 
I can't. Maybe you can't. Then there you go, right here. Look, there's imprints, April pack, for instance, uh, regular three seventy nine seventy, on sale for two ninety nine. Get Wicker Man, big edition. Of that one coming out. That one out there. Cutter's Way, the Counterfeit Trader, Brotherhood, Cross One Hundred Tenth Street. Amazing film, by the way. That is great soundtrack of that movie. Fantastic score. The Don is Dead, Man on the Swing. These are stuff there. I wouldn't pay like that much for it. Uh, for that one, anyway. But there's definitely some decent bundles here. There's one here. Uh, what's this? Has two nine nine. This is more my my style here. Get the Warriors, the big edition of the Warriors that they put out. The After Dark New Noir Cinema Collection Volume One. You get the Contender, another good film. Bloody Sunday is a really good film. So those four there. That's not a bad bundle actually. Um. So three hundred dollars Australian. Not quite sure what that is in Canadian. Do, 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 do. Uh, three hundred dollars. Well, two ninety nine. Ninety five Australian is what in Canadian. Yeah. Old Charlie Sheen, Milo West. I don't remember that one, Ray Dex. So, <clears throat> so two seventy nine seventy six Canadian. So that's even less, probably two fifty American. Um, <clears throat> so not bad for uh, for like a, a big special edition and a box set and two uh, kind of regular, even their regular editions or special editions. And if you don't like it, you can always send it my way. There you go. So this is the June bundle. This is the newest ones that are out, by the way, guys. These are the ones I want to mention. Uh, these are the ones recently announced. So there is Bar Barabbas, which is it's, it's the religious one, right? He's the one that like was, that gets spared, spirit, right? What? Barabbas. He's the guy that gets speared from like when you know Jesus on the cross. That's how you can. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the film Barabbas is here. <clears throat> what Barabbas? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> About, about <laughs> with Richard Fleischer. Okay, Richard Fleischer directed that one. Anthony Quinn. Oh, I forget it's Anthony Quinn. The great Jack Palance. We got Julius Caesar here too. Uh, the 1970 dash with Charlton Eston and as Mark Antony. We have the Nelson Affair here. A night to remember. Of course, the uh, the best version of the Titanic ever done. Mitchell Brothers, oh, yeah. So yes, I have seen and I do love that film. <clears throat> Damn, that'll find it's another cool one. Oh, the Long Ships. I'm sure it's Widmark, right? Yeah, Widmark and Russ Hamlin. If you like the action oriented stuff, uh, more of the uh, classic cinema stuff, then we got all those releases there. I'm not quite sure feature wise what they have. I'll just go on them really quickly. Oh, that doesn't yet say. Does any of these type features are? Or we just like so with Julius Caesar. We got a video interview by by Matthew Sweet. Video interview with Neil Sinyard. An interview with with feature with production crew. I don't come to a film historians Lee Pfeiffer and Paul Scarabo Scarabo. Nelson Affair, we get, what do we get, what do we get, what do we get? Uh, another thing by Matthew Sweet and Neil Sinyard, uh with actor Michael Jason. I'm pretty sure uh, Michael Jason was in Doctor Who, right? What? Look up Doctor Who, The Valiard. What? The Valiard. Uh, V-A-L-E-Y-A-R-D, I think. E A L. I think E Y A R D. I'm not sure if the E's there or not. Oh, <laughs> we got Matthew Sweet again on the uh, Night to Remember. Joe Botting uh, on here. We got the making of. Uh, I got a Night to Remember. I got the initial, uh, initial criteria for this one. 
That does kind of feel like Vinegar Center release, especially with the stuff they're doing now. Or Severn. Actually, Severn could put that out, Sean. Lucy? Trial of a Time Lord. Huh? Trial of a Time Lord. Uh, the original series? Yeah. And the long ships. I'm guessing something. No. <laughs> I was expecting Matthew Sweet again. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a few. There's definitely some cool titles there. So we got a lot of stuff coming out, guys. Vinegar Stone's coming out with some stuff. Uh, Imprint's got got some releases for you, know, like some really cool, classy stuff. Kino Lobo, and they got more stuff coming out as well that, uh, that was announced uh, recently. I'm trying to see if I can remember. I'm not remembering. I'm going to look now online and see if I can find it here. Cool, man. Because I know, I know that who's playing it? Uh, Transmutations, which I mentioned earlier on tonight, that one's coming out. Uh, 4K of uh, Rawhead Rex is coming out, but I think that's Kino, Kino Lobo as well. Look at Jason, yeah. Was it valued? Yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Since there's only one variant, yeah. Yeah, Michael Jason from Doctor Who fame. The evil version of Doctor Who, the Valiant. Anywho. Anywho, there you go, all right? What a segue. What a segue. All right. Thank you so much for joining me here tonight with my new hoodie on and my new look. There you go. I'm all shaved and shaped make sure to check out thursday night when we'll i'm going to be doing a vinegar syndrome special episode and following it up with a patreon vinegar syndrome video and over the weekend we'll be looking at the mon macabre stuff as well so there's a lot of videos coming up on both my regular channel and my patreon channel so thank you so much for that again i want to thank chad for the donation that he sent in and i want to once again, thanks for the super chat. <clears throat> and yes, as you can tell, Kubrick, my voice is going. So it is one million percent. So thanks, Cam, for the super chat. And uh, man, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth the wait, man. But I would see you all again really soon. Remember, there are a lot of movies out there. There's a lot of choices to choose from, but there is only one of you. So remember, be kind to others, be kind to yourself, and as always, as always, just have fun. Enjoy yourself. And for me, it's 11 days away from being a bit older. But for now, it's time for tea. See you later, guys. <laughs>